Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this animated login screen. So this is inspired from a very old login animation that was trending at that time. So without any further ado, let's see what we're going to create today and then we can get started. So I'll just go ahead and run this as a prototype here. And as you can see, the hello there just faded in and you could see the robo do a high animation. And now when the user enters the email, you can see how the eyes of the robo is moving along with the text entered here. And then once I enter the password, you can see this cute animation of the robo. So that's it. Let's see how to create this on Adobe XD. So I'll just close that and I'll copy the first artboard here as the base that we're going to start at. And before I get started, I've placed the link for this file in the description below. You can go ahead and download that and maybe we can just uh, do this together and create the animation. So do check the description for this XD file here. And now that we have the base artboard, let's see what all are the layers that are there in this artboard. So first off, I just tried to group everything and uh, organize. So it looks like this. And the first one is the hello there uh, label, which is set to zero opacity because I want this to fade in on the very beginning of the animation. And then I have this robo group, which basically has all these inner uh, layers that are parts which I created. And then we have this uh, email field and password field has a mask layer, which is basically for the value uh, or the email address to come in. So I'll explain more about this when I animate this part. Same is with the password layer too. And then I have a login button and some patterns on the background. So those are the different layers that you find in the artboard. So let's go ahead and duplicate this and create our next state. So in the next state, basically I want the hand of the robot to go to the high position. So when I uh, select the hand here and I try to rotate it, you can see the anchor point is at this position, but usually you don't get that. So how do you do that? I'll just copy a layer outside here and I'll show you. So if I try to rotate this, you can see the anchor point or the rotation happens from this center point. So if you want to change that uh, to somewhere at the corner, all you have to do is just draw in a rectangle for that. So just take the exact match of this layer here. I'll remove the fill and I'll try to adjust this here. So that's okay. And if you see the height is 99, so just make it double, let's say 200 here. And now what I'm going to do is I'll align these to the bottom. And now just select this thing and make the border, basically remove the border. And now I'll just group it. And now if you can see the anchor point should have changed to this somewhere at this center here. So if I try to rotate this, you can see the anchor point has changed. And this is basically what we want. And that is what I did here too. So as you can see, the anchor point is at a different position. And that is why I'm able to rotate it at this angle. So that being said, I'll just rotate it to the high position here. So somewhere around that. And I'll duplicate this again. And I'll just move it a bit lower so that you have that high kind of a wave, waving hand. And now I want this wave to happen for twice. So I'll just duplicate this state once more and this state once more. So there you go. We have all the states here. And the next thing that you would have not noticed is the hello there kind of fades in. So in the second state, I'll make this as 50% opacity. And in the next couple of states, I'll bring it completely to 100%. So we are done with the first uh, high animation here. So let's quickly just uh, kind of prototype it and see uh, how this behaves. So I'll go into the prototype tab and I'll link this to the next one. And this is going to be a time trigger. So maybe like 0.3 seconds and the transition should be auto animate. So let's just link up all these with the same properties. So I just click on the artboard. I link it to the next one. Click the artboard, link it to the next one. And now let's just prototype this one. So, yep. As you could see there, 
we have the high animation that's kind of good uh, we just need to play with the timings so i'll do that in the final step so all the timings we'll tweak it in the towards the end and now that we have this ready i'll just copy this one here and maybe i'll just remove this link going back to the design tab and i'll also bring in the hello world to zero sorry 100 percent uh, opacity so we have done uh, we are done with the high animation the next thing uh, what we saw in the demo is once we enter in the email you want the eye of the robot to move along with it so the first thing that we'll do is uh, this is the next state after this one so let this be just like this in the next state of the artboard i will hide the placeholder basically i'll just make the opacity as zero and then in the next one i will try to bring in the masked layer so let me just explain you how i masked this one so if you can see here i have a mask layer and basically these two as the text and a particular rectangle so i'll just copy this outside to explain you what how to mask this up so if you can see here i have a rectangle so if you can see here i have a rectangle drawn over the text so i just need to click the rectangle and the label and go to object and you'll find mask with shape and there you go you can see how the label got masked so all you got to do is select the rectangle and make it completely width of 1 or the lowest possible so if you give 0 the lowest is 0 0.5 as you can see here so now nothing is visible so that is what I have done here so everything is hidden inside the mask what you see here so all I got to do is increase the width of the mask so I'll make this as 200 and you can see that everything is visible so when you animate this to this state you will basically uh, end up seeing the text being visible one by one letter so that is done and the next thing what you want to do is uh, rotate the eyes so for that i will basically kind of resize this one so it's currently 10 by 10 i'll be maybe make it 5 yep that looks good and I'll position it towards the left so that the robo starts looking from left and then moves to the right. I'll do the same thing here also. So that is our initial state. And then moving on to the next state, I'll make the same changes here. And now what you want to do is uh, you want to rotate this towards the right. So for that purpose, I'll select the whole eye here and I'll just rotate it towards the right and that should be it so let's quickly prototype the whole thing again so i go to prototype i link the next state to the first one here and here we have a small change it's not going to be the time trigger so what we're going to have here is i want to click on the email address box here i'll link it to the next one and keep the trigger as tap and this should be auto animate and in this case it's again going to be a delay or a time animation so once i click that on time i want to animate it and maybe i'll increase this to something like 8.8 .8 milliseconds or sorry 0.8 seconds so let's check this i'll just click on prototype and the high is done i'll click on the email and there you go you could see that i moving it was yeah it was a bit fast but as I told you, uh, we'll tweak the timings towards the end. So that is done. And now moving on to the password field for which I'll just copy this as the base artboard. I'll just bring this down. And then uh, you want the email to be visible in this case. So I'll just make this 200 and the rest looks good. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll just duplicate this and the password placeholder will go to zero opacity and then what we want is yeah you want the hands of the robot to go up so let us just do that I'll choose the hand here and I'll rotate it somewhat like this so that it covers its eyes and I'll do the same thing with this hand too and you also want the mouth expression to change something like this yeah that's not proper but uh, you need to tweak it uh, so that it's completely round which i have done in the 
file and now we have everything set here so let's just duplicate this one once again and I will try to bring in the password the same way I brought in the email address and you can see the password is visible here so yeah that's pretty much it I think and you want your login button to become enabled so I increase the opacity of that too and finally we'll bring in our proper layer also so that is going to be this one towards the end and let us just fade these and the button to full opacity so yeah I think we are pretty much done so once again let's go back to the prototype tab and link this one to the next state here so that is going to be a time trigger and auto animate with let's say 0.4 seconds and this one here I'll link the password label or the field to the next one with a tap and auto animate with let's say one second here and then again a time trigger to the next one with maybe 0.8 seconds and finally again a time trigger with 0.8 seconds to the next one yep I think uh, we are pretty much done with the prototyping so let's quickly just run it and check it so there you go we have the high animation I click on the email you could see the I animating here and then I enter in the password yep pretty much we are done all this needs is just a bit of time tweaking which uh, basically you can just uh, increase the time between the high animations here and all you need to play is with this duration here so I've taken time and I've created maybe a bit better timing which is on the file that given in the description below so you can just go ahead and check that out I hope you found this tutorial informative to understand about smart animate uh, a bit more so that's it for this video guys and as always if you like the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon thanks for watching